Good morning, me again, welcome back. I'm finally back from Vegas from seeing and breathing the same air as BTS. It was pretty good air, imported all the way from Korea. Also, hello to all the people that said hi to me. Sorry I was so frantic that one day. I, I thought I missed my flight, so I, I was panicking on the inside but smiling on the outside. And I don't know if this is the universe playing some sick joke on me, but I swear, the lady that sat next to me on the plane looked exactly like Ella from 90 Day Fiancé. I'm talking same hair, same pink shirt, same demeanor, same way of talking. I was this close to asking if she's ever been on 90 Day Fiancé, like it's a casual thing that people like to do. She did have a mask on, so I couldn't confirm. If I could have taken a picture of her without this happening to show you proof, then I would have. Anyways, Miss Ella, if that was you flying to Denver, hey! I'm going to talk about some of the weird choices that you made on national television on a show called 90 Day Fiancé. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you found the perfect guy from China, dated him long distance for two years in the midst of a pandemic, and when things got rocky, you cheat on him and blame him for your actions? Well, wonder no longer. This is it, guys. The finale we've all been waiting for. The grand 90 Day Fiancé reunion tell-all, where all the cast members meet in person and have the audacity to roast each other for the terrible things that they did, while also having done just as many awful things. You got catfishers, D-list rappers, comical sized TV screens, and so much more. I know Johnny was looking for a new mom for his two-year-old son, and good for him, moms are great. That's why we have a specific day, dedicated to all moms that were born. I wonder which hospital it was at, it must have been a very busy day. And if you want to make sure that your mom doesn't start looking for a new child, make sure you remember to get her something for Mother's Day, which is coming up pretty soon. I know I won't forget, thanks to today's sponsor, Ana Luisa, a jewelry brand that crafts high quality pieces at very affordable prices. From earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and rings, they have so many unique designs to match anyone's style. They are carbon neutral with their products and packaging. It's pretty neat because you don't see that all the time with brands. Everything is priced fairly and produced ethically to reduce their impact on the environment. Actually, jewelry has never been on the top of my list as a gift idea. Just because it can be expensive if you want something nice, and when you're buying a gift for someone where they have to wear it, it can be a little nerve-wracking, especially when you get them the wrong thing. I don't think anyone I know can give an Oscar-worthy performance of pretending to like something that I got for them, because we're all terrible actors. But now I'm pretty confident that I can find a style of jewelry from Ana Luisa that'll suit anyone's taste. For me, I like the more simple designs that aren't too showy or clunky, and these are some of the pieces that I got from them. And since they're really easy to wear with any outfit, I never forget to put on at least one of them before heading out. Just like how I never forgot that Mother's Day is coming up soon. <laughs> My mom's a little bit of a tsundere where she doesn't tell you anything, so it's a little hard to shop for her. But when she commented on this necklace I wore, well, let's just say that she doesn't have to shop for a new kid this year. Thanks again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. You can get yourself and your mom a gift this month with their buy one, get one 40% off sale. Check out the jewelry using the link in the description, which will help support me and my channel. Coming up. On Before the 90 Days, the couples tell all. Nothing is off limits. Hey, I'm excited about today. I am a little nervous, but you know, exciting at the same time, you know. Oh, the wrong video. Right here. The green room. Mikey, what's How up? How you doing, Gino? Going you on. Looking fly. Thank you. Still got the hat on. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta take that thing off there, bud. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, Bob. Jeez. So we don't have time to introduce everyone in this room, but I'll just give you a quick rundown. We got Gino. He sent his girlfriend's nudes to his ex and then got caught. We got Mike, who is paying for his girlfriend's house, food, and expenses while she says she doesn't love him every other day. Benjamin, who got catfished by someone using way too many beauty filters. And Kim, who is dating Soulja Boy. And no, it's probably not the one that you're thinking of. I like Kim. She's got a lot to say about this Ella situation. I'm excited to be here in New York because my son lives here, <laughs> but I'm nervous to be here at the same time. There, there's things about the other couples that I've seen that they concern me. I'm really not looking forward to seeing Jimena or Ella. Is there anybody you're like excited to meet or excited to like see their story? It's a tough question because they're all interesting to yeah, me. Yeah, Mike and Jimena, I'm interested in that one. And then <laughs> the whole Ella and Johnny thing, I don't condone that. I think Ella was trash. 
for sleeping on this this nice man and the, sh the hurt on his face when I saw it. It was it hurt my heart, you know? Me too, Kim. Me too. I think everyone that watched the show felt bad for Johnny. This poor man just wanted to come to the States to enjoy the rich culture that it has to offer. Like the world famous gun museum and the American flag store. Those exist, right? And wow, what's gonna happen when she confronts Ella? This could have been me confronting Ella on the plane. If only I was brave enough to say this to her face and then sit next to her for three hours straight. I can only confront people through strongly worded emails. I think I'm gonna have to send whoever made this house moving castle sweater a, a customer inquiry. To whoever it may concern, I am concerned. I'm really, really, really excited to uh, meet everybody. Why? They're just gonna yell at you and throw tomatoes. I am so sad that I'm coming here knowing that I am the only one who has not seen my man. I think that not seeing Johnny should be the least of your worries. Maybe you should think about how you're gonna defend yourself from this 90 Day Fiancé Fight Club. I hope you brought your Naruto cosplay so you can use Beg for Mercy Jutsu at some point. Ella! Hey! How are you? Good to see you in the flesh! My moment of weakness when I decided to get animalistic. I definitely know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. Johnny is, is definitely an amazing man, and I did him wrong. So how's everyone- I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get oh. some harsh judgment on one of my things that happened in my story, so I'm interested to see what happens with that. You know, when you cheat, this is what you deal with. I'm gonna tell my opinion, I'm a very straightforward woman. Well, now that we have introductions out of the way, this lady here, Sean Robinson, is the host of this tell-all. I'm Sean Robinson. We have six couples with us today, either in studio or joining remotely from all over the world. Let me just say, she is an expert at stirring the pot and making the situation worse. And it's awesome. She's that friend that knows exactly what happened and goes, oh my god, no way. And then what happened? If this was a house fire, she would be the one turning on all the gas stoves and basting the walls in gasoline. She's great. She knows everything about everyone and knows exactly what questions to ask. Jasmine, do you worry that Gino is cheating on you? Uh, all the time. All the time? Gino, have you messaged anybody in this cast? Uh, have, have you, like, sent DMs or anything to anybody that you have met through this cast? No. But that's it, nobody, nobody that has a connection with anybody in this cast? No. What about Benjamin's friend, Jessica? What about her? Uh, uh no. why is Sean asking you these questions? <laughs> Kim, you said that you would allow Usman to marry a second wife and have kids. I am both of these reactions. No words, just facial expressions. I think Ella actually has something to say. Uh-oh. You know, people who are saying, you know, that cheating is horrible, like it's not I- It's the same thing, Ella, and I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of offended you said that. It's not cheating because he's not lying to me about it. I'm going in knowing about it. You lied, and he, he's not lying to me. Let me finish. Okay, babe. It might okay, not be right babe. for you, but I don't look at it as like he's cheating on me because I'm aware of it, right? Wow, Kim called her trash, put her in a garbage bag, and threw her on the sidewalk. Ella couldn't even get one word in. Maybe it's for the best. I'm not really sure what she was trying to accomplish by making that comparison. You can't really justify you cheating on Johnny with Kim's situation. That's completely different. That's uh, not very Hokage of you, Ella. Naruto would not approve these actions. Well, Kim, all the power to you. I really hope things work out well for you and Soldier Boy. Kimbali, come down. Now, let's move on over to Ella and Johnny. These two had many obstacles in their relationship that prevented them from meeting in person. And when we last saw them, Ella revealed that she had slept with another man. Damn, these tell-alls are brutal. You have to relive your trauma in front of so many people. And Sean is loving every moment of it. She's smiling like a lion about to eat another animal. I called over a friend and we ended up having sex. What? Damn. Didn't mean for that to happen. 
it just happened because I was so distraught and so upset. This was definitely a weak moment, but I'd rather be honest than a liar. It's very hard to hear these. Um, Ella? You know who summarized this whole situation the best? This guy here, Hamza, a well-spoken man that only speaks in wise philosophical sayings. What the <laughs> Where do things stand between you and Johnny today? We are very, very strong. What? After that one incident, nothing has happened with anybody else. If I could express this in words in person, this is what I would say. Also, I noticed that she's been doing this the entire time. It's probably a nervous reflex because she's about to get eaten alive by Sean and the rest of the 90 Day Fiance cast. And I need it to be known, like, my love language is touch. Two years is a really long time to have to wait. Then maybe so, in yeah, the then you shouldn't be in a long distance relationship if you're, if you're that vulnerable. And don't put yourself in that situation. You know, for me, I didn't think that he would come. And so I thought it was over. And like, yeah, I know I f***ed up. I f***ed owned it. Did I not f***ed own it? I mean, if you count crying and blaming someone else for you cheating as taking accountability for your mistakes, then sure, that sounds like logic that a celebrity selling an NFT would use. If you're in an international relationship, you don't cheat. Because that's one of the most important things. That is the trust issue. Trust, yes. It's trust. I have zero respect for you for that. And you can sit up here and say you have excuses all day. That, you hurt that man. And when I saw that on camera, it broke my heart. So did you at least, like, give him that, like, say, hey, if yes. this is it? Many okay, times. Okay. Many, so, many times. I said, like, if, if you're not going to do this, then I'm, like, going to see other people. I told that to him several times. I'm, I'm not very okay with that because uh, for, for Chinese and for Asian, and I do not think uh, we can accept a uh, very, uh, like, open relationship like that. But would you have rather I lied and never have told you, or would you have rather I be honest? I think he'd rather you not cheat on him. That's true though, a lot of Asian cultures don't really believe in open relationships. And if there is one, it'll be hidden better than 21 making a surprise comeback at Coachella. So what's the solution to Ella's problem? She needs someone there physically, but she chose a long distance relationship. Let's ask the audience. If you are like, touch is so important for you, why are you gonna be in a long distance relationship? Like, I can see that Johnny is actually really hurt. Hey, there are so many other things as Memphis mentioned, do sexy time, yourself, use plastic. I Whoa. just deal with My <laughs> <Light> toy! My <laughs> toys! Serious, Ella, no respect Johnny. Yeah, I'm serious. And that's going very low. Good thing everyone here is a therapist with solutions to this crazy situation. Especially Sean. She's coming in with more firewood and more gasoline to throw on the fire. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if she threw in that red couch too. The bigger the flame, the more ratings we get. Ella, how would you have felt if Johnny had told you he had slept with someone else because of the long distance and he could not handle it? I would not be very hurt by it. People make mistakes and distance is a big problem. I would not have been upset. I would have been understanding from the start. I wouldn't have even freaked out. I don't who believe believes, that. Who believes? I don't believe I that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's I don't believe that. You know no. why? Because you did it, so you can say that. You're going to end it. No, I just, because... I, I don't even believe. Mm. I don't even believe that is a mistake. It's all lip service. She's serving us, but there's nothing to eat. Kim's right. She did something so terrible to Johnny, so she's just giving him a free pass. And she knows that Johnny will never cheat on her in the first place, so she can say that. Come on, Ella. Eat Itachi Uchiha put his entire family into a blender, but at least he told the truth, kind of. Have you been faithful to Johnny? 100%. You have not been with anybody else since that time? Uh, this lady knows the answer already. She already laid down the Yu-Gi-Oh trap card and Ella is about to activate it. So what about your birthday? What do you mean about my birthday? What happened on your birthday? Who were you with on your birthday? You know when a parent sees their kid doing something bad, and they pretend to not know what they did, but they know, and then they question you with a very specific scenario. On January 22nd, 1995 at 3.25pm, on a brisk afternoon with no clouds and sunny skies, what were you doing in the parking lot mall with three of your friends? This is exactly that, but on live TV. I had a friend come out and hang out with me, and we had a great time, and absolutely nothing happened. So you had a guy fly in to spend your birthday with you, okay? Oh my gosh. How did you meet this guy? Just the Asian people chat. So it was a chat like 
white women, Asian men chat. Yeah. I have a feeling that she might be one of those people that overshares everything right when they meet you. I've met these types of people before. It usually ends up with me trying to come up with an escape Sorry. plan. My lawyer is calling. I have to go home right now and wash my TV. Right, so why are you still on these dating sites? I'm not on the dating sites. It, it was, was somebody that you page. had met on a, on a previous dating site, <laughs> and then you guys kept in touch? About just the birthday thing. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, stop laughing. I'm trying to listen. Where did he spend the night that night? In the spare bedroom. So he spent the night at your house, okay. He flew in to see you, spent your birthday with you, no problem. Just as friends. I do not know that. I hope he stayed in the spare showroom bedroom in Ikea, because you're making it sound like he didn't stay in your house 10 feet away from you. Why would you let a stranger you met online stay in your house? I would not feel safe even if they were claiming to be someone that volunteers. This is why people say stranger danger. What if they were sketchy and stole your stuff or took pictures of your house? Or worse, they like K-pop. Ew. Oh, what is that? Huh. Do you not remember the conversation that we had about him the whole time after? I do not know why he can just stay night in your, in, your, in your place. I just offered it instead of the hotel because he wanted to save money. I, I So Ella, you're saying that you told Johnny that this guy spent the night. I did, and we talked about everything, and I told him everything that happened. Ella, I think you're f sorry. Can we start a GoFundMe for Johnny? I hear that they have treatments that can erase two years of your memory, so you don't have to deal with this stuff anymore. Why would you call a man to come spend your birthday Because with everybody you? bailed on me. Everybody bailed on me all the time. Are you are you a grown adult? Do you need people to like coddle you? Like you can't spend your birthday with yourself? They didn't do anything. But but you just future. I mean you never know. Obviously you have a tendency. Why you you, you let him stay your place uh, for the whole night? I thought that we were on the same page, and obviously we were not. If he had said no, I would not have invited him. I'm confused. Why is your story changing every five minutes? Johnny clearly has no idea what is happening. He's just trying to live his life while taking care of his family and cautiously making his way to the States to become a rancher, which should be happening pretty soon, right? When will you see Ella? I booked the ticket just after the February. So you're coming in one month. Do you believe he's going to come? Um, I'm just waiting to see, and I will just keep waiting. What are you feeling right now? So I do feel bad. I thought that we were good. I didn't mean for that to happen. Do you want to come upstairs and have some lunch? I have lost my appetite. Um, me too. I think we've been fed so much crap that we're full and ready for a nap. Hey, baby. Hey. Uh, yes. How, how is your feeling now? I feel like I'm really so sorry about Why? my my birthday. I... It, it doesn't matter. I do not blame me. You. Not your fault. I shouldn't have done that. I just really wanted to have a good birthday. Still wanna try and still wanna meet you, baby. We're gonna meet in person. Make it come true. No, Johnny. You need help. He's still seeing everything in rose-colored glasses that were thrown on the floor and then taped back together. It's okay, Johnny. Don't worry. We're sending a plane to rescue you off this island. This island of living, laughing, loving, and lying. I love you so very much. I love you so much, baby. You be strong. You be strong. He was so understanding and she loves me and that's why I will wait for him. Yeah, I know I'm gonna marry that man. Well, at least Ella can call out people's terrible things too, I guess. The main thing I really want is to really put in the effort to learn English. There you go, Jimena. Learn English. Oh, hey, that's one of my top 10 languages. English. Well, all's well that ends well, right? This whole experience didn't really seem like it worked in Ella's favor. And Johnny is still the same Johnny. I feel like we're on the path to the bad ending here. Thank you. I would say that I totally enjoyed it, but there was a little bit of unenjoyment there. But it was worth it. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I still have my man and we're still strong. So that's all that matters to me. Johnny and I are still as strong as ever. I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty sure we are the most stable relationship. <laughs> 
m most stable, as you say, while crying and laughing? Uh, maybe it's crying and laughing out of joy. Lots of people do that, like me. When I found out that they're going to be on another 90 Day Fiancé spinoff, and I have to watch another season, <laughs> say goodbye to all my critical thinking skills. I'm just kidding. I'm sure this will be another source of serotonin for me. Well, that's all, folks. That was a pretty fun journey, right? Doctors say that 9.5 out of 10 couples on 90 Day Fiancé are just as messy as Johnny and Ella, so we can stick around with the show a little while longer. Doctors also recommend that the YouTube algorithm gets fed engagement, with a like and a comment so it can stay healthy. And I can stay on your recommended with new shows and fun topics to talk about. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, if you're looking for a gift for Mother's Day, check out Ana Luisa's jewelry sale using the link in the description.